I don't know for how many years I've had that, well, you can't hardly see it's like a regular octopus over there, but that center thing is air hose coming up through here, and I finally got around to teeing it up there to that, uh, this one that's running into the shed. I got that rigged up in there, but for all them years, that's all I've had, air hose like that, running down through here and running around the side of the house and out here, and then when I wanted to use it in the shop, I had to put it through the door, which is kind of bad if it's bad weather so now we're going to do a little something different yeah it's dark in here i know and let's see here uh, let me see here okay can't hardly see that rubber piece up there that's that red thing but that's where it's coming through up there and i'll have to seal that so then we're gonna i guess put that let me turn this thing on here Make good use of them lights that, that them people give me to demonstrate to a while back. They're pretty bright. They get too bright. Anyway, I bought this little gadget. It's a refrigerator unit for the uh, air compressor uh, hose. So I'm going to rig that thing in over there in the corner. And uh, when we get a little closer to doing what we're doing, I'll show you more. And these little filter things didn't have a bracket, so I cobbled one together on this piece of an old bed frame or something I think but anyway we're going to mount them up here in a little bit and get started on putting this together and I run short of uh, those barbed fittings so what I did is I stuck a, one of these in there and screwed it in with the impact wrench and then put a thing on here if it blows up well I'll tell you or you know blows up I'll tell you about it but I don't see how it could because a tight fit threads on that ought to be good as barbs so see how she goes Alrighty, after so much fussing and cussing, I got this rigged up. This is that little refrigerator outfit, and it goes in there, and, up, and I got these little gizmos on here. Run it down through the bottom of this, and then through here. This is just that regular Harbor Freight uh, hose. It's cheaper than buying pipes and everything. And uh, I haven't had a problem with it yet. It's blowing up. And it runs all along here. We got one little tap here. It's sort of in the way, but not really. I'm going to put some more. I run out of this uh, plumber strap. I'm going to get some more of that. Do a little more. And then over here we got the uh, other tap. And it's regulated because the uh, lift has to have 90 to 100 pounds. And I can run the uh, plasma cutter off this one too. And because it, it's already got its own gauge and it's regulated down uh, probably lower than this. All right. Well, I'm going to go down and turn the air on. It's in the other shop. We're going to come back here and see what happens here now. Alrighty, I hear a leak up there someplace. Uh, I mean, I've got to do something different that way. Gotta get up here. Gotta do something different that way, but I break some. Ah, uh, let's see here. There's one, there's this one. Get enough junk over here, sure. Figure out something. Let's see. I don't know. First, I was on the side of this. Bigger than this. Now we gotta do something to hold that. Keep breaking something. That's good for that. Might be the harbor freight and connector here that's leaking out. Down there, yeah. Probably not the only leak either. See what else we got here. Yep, we got a leak right here on that one. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. I think I got a wrench somewhere that fits that. If that's it or not. That's what's hit that foreign metric junk that you can't work with. 
It seems like it's leaking everywhere. If I keep that up, I'll just get rid of that. Hold on some bowl and take it back. Well, so, oh, maybe it's leaking here. I don't know. Still leaking there. Okie dokie. I don't think we need all that mumbo jumbo in here. Problem is, I gotta go back down and turn it off before I can. Uh, where it infects it. Still leaking here. I put plenty of that tape on her, I think. That ain't even gonna stop it, it's gonna keep on leaking. Alrighty, well. I'm going to go down there and turn that air off. I'll be back up. Well, I don't hear any leaks, but that's not to say a whole lot because my hearing leaves something to be desired. It looks like a leak right there. Oh boy, that one there shouldn't leak. It's a good tight fitting. All right, we'll try to work with that one. That gummit. Right down there. Okay. Yeah, just back. And uh, that one's still leaking. So I'm gonna do something about that. Let's check the rest of these connections while we're at it. See what we got over here. I don't see anything there. All right, let's check this one. Yeah, there's a little bit on that top plug. A little bit on that plug right there. All right, we'll tighten that one up. That looks like, where am I looking at there? You can't see that, I'm not even watching the camera. All right, a little leak on that top plug there, so we'll attempt to fix something here. All right, be back in a while. Well, I'll put some of this Gook and Pucky on here. Harry something or other. Harvey, I guess it is. Anyway, I put a bunch of that stuff in there instead of the uh, Teflon tape. And I don't know if it'll work or not. I'm going to leave it set a while before I turn the air on. It looked like one of some of them fittings I had already had some of this stuff on because it's a different color than the white. What do you call it? The uh, Teflon tape. All right, we're going we're gonna to look at this tomorrow and see what happens. And I think I got this squared away we'll look and see what we got here i don't think there's any leaks on it now and this other one i don't think it's leaking at all everything else don't well, that's just an attachment i can't see down there but i don't see any bubbles growing out of that one down there so okay well i'll show you what it did here i think i rimmed it this way first off it took First of all, I took off this expensive concoction here, which I don't know how many dollars that cost me. And anyway, what it was, this pipe deal here, it was similar to this. Matter of fact, it might have been the one. It was on that uh, refrigerator thing. So all I did is I pushed this nut way back. And this ferrule as it was already on the other one. Pushed this way back and I stuck the hose over the top and went quite a ways back. And uh, I put two hose clamps on it, and that's probably the best way to fix it. And I wouldn't have had to have all this garbage, but you never know. I'll keep it. I mean, look at look at this. Look at all that and fittings. I'm not a daggum thing. Will actually help. So anyway, we got her going now. I think I'll turn that little thing on here and see if I can uh, see if it even runs. I don't think I. Well, the guy did uh, start it up for me before I bought it. See, this is, pretty, this is a pretty basic thing here. You just got to plug something in. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. you go. Let's see. Well, it's already on. What does that say there anyway? I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know what that means. I don't see anything. I don't know. There's some kind of little emblem on here. I think it's running. Yeah, it is, but I don't know, you know, how, how would you know if it does any good until 
later on. So I'm not going to leave the thing on now. But I'm not going to be here in the shop, so we'll unplug this. And uh, more than I know, we don't have any leaks. You know, so. And I got, uh, I think I got everything rigged up. I want to get rigged up. All right, well, that'll be it for now. So thanks for watching. See what we can do later. Bye now.